morning, guys. Good morning. Let's see if technology is going to allow us to be great today. It's not. That's okay. Good morning. Let me see if I can get you guys on the other screen so I can at least see what you're saying. Good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. We're having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. My name is Yamitra Jojo Wadi, the only live past crazy specialist. So, what better place to be than here with me? And I hope you guys are ready to get this day started. It's going to be the most amazing day ever. I'm going to try my best to get this thing working the correct way. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Craig. I'm going to have to put this here. So I can see comments because the computer is not working, but that's okay. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Phyllis Morning Show, where we're having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only live past crazy specialist. So what better place to be than here with me? Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, send them over to the YouTube channel. They can binge watch all the Fearless Morning shows over there. Don't forget, we have the books, we have the podcast, and we have um, the movie. So they can watch any, all of those things. If they don't do any of that, tell them I said Grand Rising. It's going to be the most amazing it's going to be the most amazing day ever good morning creed did i say good morning to you already i couldn't remember good morning it's going to be a good day let's see if this keeps working here we go now we're in, now we're in the money now we're working let's see so I hope you guys had a good day yesterday. I hope you enjoyed the show yesterday. If you shared it, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you doing that. And I appreciate you being here with me this morning, technical difficulties and all. So let's get started. The quote of the day, which is really a statement, comes from, y'all know my favorite book, The Untethered Soul. One of the essential requirements for true spiritual growth and deep personal transformation is coming to peace with pain and that is essential to live and it's actually twofold so the one of the requirements for true spiritual growth and deep personal transformation is coming to coming to peace with pain the second part to live at this level of freedom you must learn not to be afraid of inner pain and disturbance. As long as you're afraid of the pain, you will protect yourself from it. The fear will make you do that. If you want to be free, simply view inner pain as a temporary shift of your energy flow. There's no reason to fear this experience. I love that because it simply means if whatever change that I want, right? Whatever change that I want, I must be I must to, I must not be afraid of whatever the fear that brings along with that. Okay. That's simply what that means. And if you, and I think a lot of us, we may be, uh, we may be afraid to change or be afraid to challenge the status quo because it's going to be painful for us. And because we don't want that kind of pain or we don't want to deal with it, then we just deal with the crazy. And we don't deal with the pain. Hey, D, good morning, Miss Romaine. How you doing this morning? So if you want truth to live at this level of freedom, it says, you must learn not to be afraid of inner pain and disturbance. One of the essential requirements for true growth, spiritual growth, and deep personal transformation is coming to peace with pain. Change, change involves challenge. So on this lovely day, 
that is our quote of the day. The thought of the day, y'all, there's just one thing. It's just one thing. And I want to talk about this, this one thing. Um, there's one thing that you can do. And I want good morning, Joshua. I want us to, I want this to be real simple. Grand Rising, Carrie. I, I want us to understand that there's one thing that we can do. I want us to do this exercise this morning, today, whenever. Think about all the places, people, nouns. Think of all the situations in which there is room to grow and that you may or may not be growing, okay? And I want you to do this one thing. Let go of the ones who are trying to grow and move and do something different. Perhaps you are the person holding everybody back. Maybe you're holding people back because you're scared to try something different. You're afraid to think differently. You don't know how to accomplish this thing. So you don't uh, want them to do it without you. So you're holding on to them. So today I want you to take a minute and check yourself and let go of anybody, person, place, or thing that is trying to grow, but you are insisting that in this season, it can't grow. I need you to let that go. And I need you to move and do something different. So let go of the ones who are trying to grow. Let go of the ones who are trying to move and do things differently. Because I want you to understand at one point, that was you. At one point you were growing and you were figuring things out for yourself in life and you were doing all the things and somebody was holding you back because they were afraid, because they were scared. And this morning, I want you to give that blessing to somebody else. Let go of that person, place, a thing that needs to grow, but you are the one who is blocking and hindering that growth. Even if you're the parent and it's the child you need to let go of. Yeah, Joshua, listen, vice versa. If somebody's trying to, listen, that's when we enact our boundaries. From this point, I cannot go and you cannot come. So if somebody's trying to hold you back, release them. It may physically require you changing your location in order to do that. And if you can't do that, it means physically changing this location here in order to do that. It's, that's the only one thing we can do. Before we get into the journey, before we get down into the somatics, before we start squaring it up, before we start work, looking at the words and switching them out, before we start doing any of that, we have to do one thing. Let go of anything that is stopping us from growing and let, and let us let go of anything that we're stopping from growing. because you could be the one stopping somebody else's growth. And if you are that person, then allow them to go today. Allow that, allow them room and space to grow and be free today. Because at one point, that's what you wanted. You wanted to go and be free and explore the world. You wanted to do all the things. You wanted to put your own plight in life. One thing and doing that one thing is going to free up space inside of you because what we don't realize or what we don't think about is that us trying to hold on both of them, <laughs> both of them, Joshua, <laughs> with us trying to hold on to something, us trying to Listen, you trying to stop yourself from growing. You trying to stop yourself from growing is hindering everybody else along with yourself. Just like when somebody tried to stop you from growing, they were hindering you in the environment. So today, the one thing, if it is you, let that thing go. Let that person place a thing go. And if somebody, listen, and if somebody, like Joshua said, what if, what about the ones trying to hold us back? If somebody's trying to hold you back, let them go. 
Stop fighting that battle. It ain't yours to fight. It's not yours to figure out. Let it go. You can't, I'm not going to allow you to hold me back. And this is what you not holding me back looks like. It looks like me doing the inner work to be free. That's what it looks like. And until, and I want us to be clear, this brings it back to this, to the, um, and this is on page chapter 11, paying the price of freedom. Come on, Carrie, there you go. <laughs> That's the song. And so uh, when we realize that if we're holding ourselves back or if somebody's holding us back, right, or we're holding somebody back, the one essential requirement for true spiritual growth and deep personal transformation is coming to peace with the pain. Now, the pain could be you understanding that you bought this on yourself. It could be you coming to peace with the pain of I put myself in this situation or it could be coming to grips with the fact that I'm allowing this person to hold me back on person on purpose so that I don't have to grow so they can be their fault. So they're the reason why I don't do anything. So I don't go any further so I can hold them responsible when it's actually me. I need to hold responsible guilty to live at this level of freedom. You must learn not to be afraid of the inner pain and disturbance, meaning you cannot be scared of the work that you're going to have to do to get to where you say you want to go. If you want to be, if you want to do the one thing, if you want to move forward, if you want to be free from this thing, you cannot be afraid of the inner work that you're going to have to do. And because many of us, and this was me, once me afraid of sitting with myself and being quiet with myself and seeing the ugly parts of me that said, Georgia, you messed, you messed that up. Georgia, you caused that problem. Like, right, dog, this was you. Check, this was you. This wasn't no, all of this was Georgia, Georgia. And get to that level and then forgive yourself. Give yourself some peace. Thank you, Joshua. Give yourself some peace about it. When you do that, then the, then the journey begins. Then the freedom of the pain begins. Then whatever I encounter, I've already checked myself. So I know that process. And even the, the more you encounter yourself and the quicker you can check yourself, the faster you get through it. Healing is your healing comes at your own pace. You heal as fast or as slow as you want to. That is true. If you want to be free, simply view the inner pain as a temporary shift in your energy flow. There's no reason to fear this experience. Period. And until we get to that point that we understand that us taking time to look at ourselves is not a hurtful thing. It is not something to be afraid of. And it could be that we don't even, we don't want to face that part of us. Absolutely. Good morning, Miss Speaks. Absolutely. You've got to be willing to heal the hurt. Listen, I had to be willing to heal the hurt parts that I hurt. I hurt myself, but I wanted to blame somebody else. It didn't belong to them. It belonged to Jojo. I had to heal that part of me first. I had to say, Jojo, you messed up. Forgive myself. Give myself some grace and some peace. Get back up and go again. And that healing took place as fast or as slow as I wanted it to. So if I wanted to wallow in it, as the country people say, if I wanted to wallow in it for a very long time, then that's what I'm, I'm going to wallow in it. That's what I'm going to do. Woe is me. How many people you know tell the same story about I have a friend. And y'all, if you've been to the morning show for a while, you know this. Absolutely, Joshua. Being self-aware helps you to be aware. I have a friend and her daughter is 22. Her daughter's father left when the child was two. She's still mad, angry, and upset that he left her and that she can't have another relationship. She can't love anybody else because of what he did. The child was 22. He left when she was less than two. 
So that's over 20 years of not living. What did we talk about yesterday? If you surrender to the air, you can ride it. And some of us are, we're, we're dead. You, you're just, was that yesterday? No, that was Friday. You're dead among the living. Some people are wishing death upon themselves because they can't even comprehend the possibilities of them living life. She can't even think that she can live life outside of this hurt and pain because she has built the structure of it so, so soundly that even when somebody gives her life, she chooses death. Well, even when somebody gives you life and you choose death, there is nothing you can do for that person, honey. That There's nothing. Every day, either you're going to insist on dying or you're going to insist on living. And if you're more comfortable with that, then there's no more living left in you. Why are you forcing death on yourself every day? The one thing that you can do today, the one thing that you can do today, oh, Miss B, what? And if y'all have ever read this book, The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer, he talks about that and he gives the example of the broken leg. Like if you, you have, you know, you have the broken leg and when it's broke, you make all the accommodations for you, the house, or if you got a broke arm, the shirts, you make accommodations for all the things, but eventually that thing heals. But because you've made accommodations for the pain for so long, you don't remember what normal is. So you keep building around that pain definition of crazy. So you keep building your cage of crazy. And now you start to decorate it. Now you start to decorate it. Well, now you're fat as, as Joshua would do, you would fashion your clothes around that broken leg or that broken arm because you, you've forgotten that you could extend it and use it and work it. And so because you've forgotten that, and as Miss B said, you, you become, your pain has now become your idol. Well, now you've got to honor that pain and you honor it by continuing to decorate it. The one thing that you can do today, let go of the ones who are trying to grow and move and do things differently. Maybe you're the person that's holding on to someone who is trying to grow. And if you're not that person and somebody is trying to hold you back from growing, okay, you move out of the way. The same rules apply. You move out of the way so that you can grow. Don't allow that person, place, or thing be the reason why you don't go, grow, move, and do. Don't let that be the reason why you don't do it. And remember, we honor people's boundaries. From this point, I cannot go and you cannot come. And that is me honoring you. I honor and love you so much that I understand that where I'm going, you are not required to go there. And for where you want to go, you can't go. I can't go with you. Thank you, Joshua. This is my first time doing some white nails. I was a little nervous about it. So on this morning, as you honor other people's boundaries, from this point, I can't go and you can't come. And that comes from the book, um, one, uh, one Day My Soul Opened Up by Iyana Vincent. As you honor that today, and if it is you that is holding you back, can we think about how we're going to move out of our way today? And it's going to come. Let me tell you how you're going to do it. You're going to do it by coming to peace with the pain. Ag coming to peace with the aggravation or frustration, whatever the thing is, you're going to meet that head on today. And now once you do that, now you can grow and move past that thing. Good morning, Kimberly. Absolutely, Joshua. Pain lets you know, listen, and it is all about perspective. When I hurt my back some years ago, God, it's been over 15 years ago. I walked with a cane for almost six months. I, I drug my leg. I physically could not put pressure on my leg at all. I got a cane. I had it specially made, honey. I take that cane out. And my children helped get me dressed. 
they helped give me a bath because my back and my leg hurt that bad. In the middle of all of that, I still drove to work. I still went to work. And people's like, you want some pain pills? No, I'll be, you know, I'm okay. In the middle of all that pain, I said, I'm thankful that I feel this because there are some people who would die to have a leg to drag. There's some person who taking a last breath right now who would give anything to feel this pain. And then I looked at it this way. If I'm feeling this pain, it must mean that my body is trying to heal itself and it's working properly for me. So I then begin to say, thank you, body, for working properly for me today. I appreciate you. Let me help you. I began to exercise and stretch my leg. I started getting massages. I went to the chiropractor and my body rewarded me when I rewarded my body with the good words. I'm a firm believer that you wear your words and the weight of your words, honey, give you the bags under your eyes. They give you the problems with your throat. They give you the problems with your stomach. They give you the stress in your shoulders. Your words are heavy. And every day, friend, you insist on putting those words on because you don't want to deal with the pain of freedom. The pain of freedom says, I need to look at what is causing this pain and address it so I don't have to wear this part anymore. One thing you can do today, let go of the ones who are trying to grow and move and do differently. And if that is you, if you're holding your own self back, honey, move out of your own way. You will heal as fast or as slow as you want to. You can go to counseling for 25 years about the same issue. The minute it clicks in your head that you can heal as fast or as slow as you want to is the minute that you get your breakthrough. The minute you have your aha moment, the minute you say, I got it, doc. We ain't got to talk about that no more. Change involves challenge. So on this lovely day. It's going to be a good day. Today is only Thursday. I've been thinking it was Thursday since Tuesday. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. I don't want you to look at pain as a problem. I want you to look at it as a possible solution to where you need to heal. Period. And maybe where you need to heal is a place that is going to require you to sit still, deal with that pain, that anger, that frustration, that embarrassment, honey, whatever it is you need to deal with. Maybe it's you, like we talked about yesterday, dulling your greatness. If you dull your greatness to fit in somebody else's atmosphere, then what does that say about you? There's no need for you to be small. And if you held on to your voice, assuming that your voice was small, when it's really great, that you have wise words to share, that you are a life changer, Never assume that your voice is small. I do not want you to choke on life. Do not pick. When you begin to change, and where's the quote from yesterday? I think I threw it away. Here it is. This is the thought from yesterday. When we choose, when we do decide to be ourselves, after you've dealt with the pain, after you've done the one thing and moved out of the way, when you do decide to be yourselves, we're not assuming that the only place that we can start is with the smallest version of ourselves. Honey, you're going to get the whole experience of JoJo. When I decided that I was going to be my true self. We don't start with the smallest part. We start with the biggest part. We don't go with the smallest version. We go with the biggest version, honey, and give them the, the experience of a lifetime. Period. So on this most amazing day, I want you to have a great day. I want you to be peaceful, period, because there's nothing after that. And if you have been on this growth journey for a minute, this is a this is a, a really good book to complement that. Now, it ain't for the faint of heart because it will hurt your feelings. And it will make you think about things that like this right here. And if y'all been with the morning, I'm going to read this passage and I'm be done. 
if you've been with the Fearless Morning Show, we're coming on four years in November. If you want to free yourself, you must first become conscious enough to understand your predicament. Then you must commit yourself to do the inner work of freedom. You do this as if your life depends on it because it does. Stand firm in the seat of the witness and release that hold that your habitual mind has on you. This is your life reclaiming. I got over my fear of water, my fear of heights, my fear of flying. I dealt with some inner pain. Honey, the one thing, I dealt with the one thing, Jojo. And when I decided to deal with her and I chose to live my best self, then I started with the greatest version of me. I didn't start with the smallest because then I understood the totality of who I was as a person. And I stopped giving people bite-sized pieces of me, like they couldn't hold all of me. That's not my responsibility if you can't hold all of me. It is my responsibility to be mindful of who I share me with. So on this, it's gonna be a great day. Y'all like my new glasses? And then here I was thinking I was getting new and different glasses and they look exactly like the old blue ones that I had. Why didn't y'all tell me? Let me show you. So here I was thinking I was getting new and different glasses. And it, these are Tom Ford's. And I, I thought I was getting new glasses. And here I am. So these are black. And these are blue. Why didn't y'all tell me that I bought the same glasses? But that's okay. I like these. <laughs> so on this lovely day, I hope this has helped somebody today, guys. Please take what you need. And if this was not what you needed, honey, please leave it for somebody else to grab because they may need it today the one thing what can you do the one thing and Joshua already gave us the song of the day keep on moving the one thing that you can do is let go of the ones who are trying to grow move and do maybe that's you maybe you're blocking somebody else and if you're blocking yourself move out of your way okay grand rising Thank you, Miss Internet. Hope good morning. Thank you, Joshua. Joshua, did you get your package yet? So the one thing in the quote of the day, one of the essential requirements for true spiritual growth and deep personal transformation is to come to peace within. To live at this level of freedom, you must learn not to be afraid of inner pain and disturbance. As long as you are afraid of this pain, you will protect yourself from it. And, uh, oh, thank you, Carrie. That is right. You just came up, you, you backed up with the video. So if you're afraid of this inner pain and peace, you will protect yourself yet from it. Meaning you will do everything other than deal with that pain. If you want to be free, simply view inner pain as a temporary shift of your energy. There's no reason to fear this experience, honey. Go be, go be a whole experience today. Go give somebody all 100% of you that you got to give. Don't start small. We, we start now in a full container. You came from a great creator. Why would we assume less? Why would we give less? Joshua, I'll send you the tracking number um, so that you can see where it is. So I hope you have the most amazing day ever. Please go back and watch the rest of this week's shows. Because they were really good. We had some good times. Uh, we had some good conversations this past week. So I hope you have the most amazing day ever. I forget the cameras are backwards. I want you to be peaceful, period. Because there's nothing after that. If you share the show, can you please tag me so I can properly tell you thank you. Uh, I greatly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to hang out with me on this lovely. It's going to be an accident. Can somebody tell me that y'all had a good day? Like, I want you to really believe that you're going to have a good day and then have it. Can you tell me that so I know that I'm not talking to myself? I love when y'all, y'all, and sometimes I get, um, 
messages and things back. I really enjoy that. I appreciate that. So on this lovely day, I want you to be great. I want you to be amazing. I want you to be a whole experience for somebody today. Okay. And do that one thing, either move out of somebody's way, let go of somebody so that they can grow or honey, move and let go of yourself so that you can do it. Okay. Have the most amazing day. And I'll see you guys here. Yes, Joshua, every day on this side of the living is an absolutely good day. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. And I'll see you guys here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.